Okay, so it was a boring day in the vape shop today, and I know that uh, a friend of mine, uh, Jeremy, he's wanting to see this build right here, so I'm going to show it to you guys. And uh, also, thanks to Buckethead out in Cali for kind of making me get off my ass and do this. So here it is. This is the Nimi 18650, of course, as always. Don't go lower than that if you're gonna do stupid shit like this. Um, also on top is the Zenith V2, and the Zenith V2, I think, rocks. Uh, apparently, not everybody shares my opinion with that, but um, let me go ahead and try to do a close-up. This is 24 gauge parallel coils wrapped six times, so that's 12 wraps a side basically. And it is actually, <laughs> it's up for debate what the actual ohms really is, but I know it's right around one ohm or one tenth of an ohm. <laughs> one ohm. Okay, so this uh, smoke tech tester says it's at one tenth. My actual ohm meter says that it's at four tenths. Sorry about the noise in the background. My kids are watching YouTube. <laughs> oh, wait, that makes me feel better. It actually went up to two tenths now. So there we go, two tenths of an ohm. Got some fat ass surface area there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just set this down and I'm gonna, like Buckethead would say, I'm gonna paint this coil. So we'll see, see what it's gonna vape like. Hopefully it doesn't uh, pipe bomb in my hand. Uh, two tenths of an ohm is not that crazy, but I am glad that it is at two tenths because I had no idea what part of the spectrum of one tenth it was at. I mean, it could have been at 0 0.02 or 0 0.01 for all I know, and it could have been dang dangerous. So I, I'm glad it says two tenths. All right, I'll be right back. So here it is. I can't stress enough about the safety of this right here for people. You want to make sure you got a good mod and you want to make sure that all your adjustments are proper. Uh, the NIMI is really easy to do that with because you can just turn the bottom cap and it tightens everything up. You can loosen the uh, top pin, make sure that your atomizer is down tight. And then obviously, you know, if you push the button and it fires, you're getting a good contact there. All right. Uh, so just like I'm going to show you. It's been painted already, obviously. I'm firing it. It's freaking, it's pretty hot. So, yeah. So, we're getting one step closer anyway. So, here it is, all adjusted, ready to rock. Showing my setup here. Zenith V2. Now, um,. The Zenith actually has four different color rings, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm talking about that gold ring right there that we can adjust your airflow with.